is Muslim. One year ago, she came home, turned on the TV, and she cried. Several days later, she came home again and started crying again, and I said, what's wrong? And she said, I'm overwhelmed by the reaction of the New Zealand people. And I want to thank the New Zealand people who supported the Muslim community. Christian, Hindu, Buddhist, atheist, agnostic. I look out here today and I don't see any Muslims or Christians or Jews. I see New Zealanders. I see people. I don't see colors. It is so heartbreaking what happened, but it was so uplifting to see the reaction. About three weeks ago, I wrote a book that was published called No Maori Allowed. And it talked about the racial segregation of Maori and Pukakoi in South Auckland from the 1920s to the early 60s, where for decades they weren't allowed to use the toilets publicly, they weren't given taxi rides, they weren't given haircuts, they were segregated in the theater, they had separate schools, they had a separate community where they were not allowed to live with the European community. And for writing that book, the hatred that I have received online from fascist and white supremacists is stunning. And my message today is racism and fascism is alive and well in this country. And standing here and talking about it isn't going to solve the problem. They need to change the education system. The curriculum needs to address this. They need to address scientific facts like race is a myth, that we share a common humanity, that DNA-wise we are 99% identical. At the same time, we need to come together in this country and teach comparative religion in the schools teach inclusion, teach multiculturalism. People say, well, we already do. Well, I don't think we're doing a good enough job. See, Maori have a saying, what's the most important thing in the world? It is not, it is Maori people, it is Maori people, it is Maori people. It's just, it is people, it is people, it is people. And they have another saying, not with my Maori basket and your Maori basket, we will feed the people. It's with my basket and your basket, we will feed the people and we will live together. And white supremacists and fascists may hear my message that we need to educate our children about the basics of racism. And they will call it indoctrination. I call it telling the truth. Thank you.